this day, March 8th, 2018, we, Vegilution, are gonna join the Alum Rock School District wide walkout. So against fruit because you don't like to clean it up. We are seeing throughout the country that our next generation is awakening to find their voice. We're hearing loud and clear about the desires of our young people for immigration reform, the desire of our young people for gun control. And today, you're standing up for your own education. And I want to let you know how proud I am to be a resident here in the city of San Jose. Yeah. Where we've got young men and women who are ready to stand up. And I think a few hundred folks learned their most important civic lesson of their lives today. That by standing up and standing strong, we can take these kinds of corruption, we can take this kind of corruption and take it down and we can do it together. Matson School should be doing the walkout. There's probably some issues in terms of like getting kids actually out of their classrooms. Emotional, 
were finding it easy to complain. And believe me, when they walk out of those schools together with the youth leaders that you saw outside, they were not politics. They were fighting for their education. They were fighting because they want better places to stay in whenever they're in school. They say they're embarrassed to go to the schools because of the conditions they are right now. This is community. This is the community that is going to stand up on November the 6th and give you some walking papers. We live in a racist society, and yet we find ourselves having to fight with you, the board majority here, over stupid stuff, not only month after month, but year after year after year. And what's the, what's the result of that? A whole generation of lost kids. Yes. Our little Rasa kids yes. being denied an education, which means being denied a future. Yes. Everybody here is sick of it, yes. but we'll keep on coming back. And just, you guys know it, you can read the writing on the wall. Your time is almost up. But I have been on the phone with dozens of people over the last few days, and I have been talking that, about how civil disobedience innately includes risk. And all of us here are parents and community members who have something at stake. For many of us, it's our most prized possession. So for allegations to be put out over the last few weeks that our organization is political, that we've sent protesters to your schools to recruit people, that we've stooped to an all-new low, I want to tell you that our, our entire organization has been built by the people of this community. We are parents. We are people who grew up here on the east side. We have built that organization from the ground up. That is what grassroots movement looked like, if I have to remind you of that. We have brought partners and collaborators to this district so our kids can have high quality programming. I have marched with you on Cesar Chavez Day, hand in hand. And there was a fear of intimidation that was created by a lot of you. Direct threats were made and they will not be tolerated. And I will say to you, once social change begins, it cannot be reversed. You cannot uneducate the person who has learned to read. You cannot humiliate the person who feels pride. You cannot oppress the people who are not afraid anymore. Say that again. <laughs> Guessing the rest of them playing catch up, you casual just finessing. Hey. Humble enough to still get your hustle up. Show me what it